folks at home, considering it's music festival season, I figured we made some sound activated rave goggles! Ah! See? Now it fades through colors when it's really loud. As always, we'll need a few things to get this running. We'll need Maxim Integrated's Max 4466 amplifier breakout board. We'll also need two NeoPixel rings, an Arduino Nano, a AA battery pack, and some goggles, hot glue, wire, solder, the whole shebang. And always remember to follow along with the project article and code found on, on All About Circuits. Oh, I got a lot of things on my head. NeoPixels are Adafruit's brand of individually addressable RGB color pixels and use single wire communication. And it is hard to talk in this thing. You think single wire communicate? This means we can make them change colors and patterns individually. Our NeoPixels come pre-installed on these donut-shaped PCBs. That's why I can see through them with my eyes. We'll use a Maxim integrated Max 4466 amplifier circuit to detect sound and adjust the color patterns of the pixels in relation to audio volume. And now, because it was really loud, they fade rainbows. The mic amp breakout utilizes the Max 4466 to amplify the sound detected by the electric microphone. The Max 4466 is a handy amplifier for applications like this. It's optimized according to the needs of a microphone preamp. Here's the typical operating circuit for a Max 4466. This breakout board incorporates a trim pot to make the gain adjustable. When power and ground are connected to the breakout, the circuit outputs an analog voltage corresponding to the incoming audio signal. We can utilize this signal by connecting it to an analog input pin like A0 on our Arduino. Changes in volume can be detected by comparing the ADC result to the threshold values. What's this? Oh, it's my headlamp. Ow! NeoPixels are actually a little complicated to use, so Lady Ada provides a great Arduino library and example projects to get things up and running, which I utilized in this situation. The solid colors can be adjusted by setting these values in the code, and they can be animated with commands like this one here. Woo! Hard to talk. <sighs> okay. In my program, I use thresholds to create three different volume categories. If the volume is in the lowest category, the pixels are green. More volume makes them turn yellow. And then if I scream really loud, it's gonna change colors! And now it fades through the rainbow. We'll need three connections between our microcontroller and the first NeoPixel ring. These will consist of five volts, ground, and data in, labeled on the backside of the NeoPixel PCB. Due to space limitations, it's best to bring in the wires from the front and solder from the backside. Then bring three wires over to the same contacts on the second NeoPixel ring. Five volts and ground will be in parallel, and the data in on the second ring will come from data out on the first ring. Be sure to check out Adafruit's website for proper NeoPixel care. They're pretty sensitive devices. An unexpected component recommended by Adafruit is a 300 to 500 ohm resistor in the data line. We don't need to worry about this in our project though because the resistor is integrated in the NeoPixel ring. Right now it kind of just looks like a glowing goblin. Flip the rings over and solder your wires in place. Then with some hot glue, carefully glue the rings to the inside of the goggles you plan on using. They're actually swimming goggles, but it's the best I could find. So. Next, find a place for your microphone and glue it in place. I decided to go straight between the eyes. Run 3.6 volts and ground to the breakout board and tie the signal output to an analog input on the microcontroller. Today we'll use A0. Then just plug in your battery pack and test your code. I gotta, oh man, I left my glasses on. <laughs> Well, thanks for following along. I'm spitting everywhere. Oh, I can't pick my nose. Okay, are we done? This is, it's starting to hurt my face.